Amy, have you ever thought about transformations in pure iron? It should be interesting to consider the atomic mechanism when there are no solutes around to cloud the issue. Could be revealing. After all, the key allotropic transitions exist even in pure iron, with solid state transformations between austenite and ferrite. But do you think it remains possible to distinguish between diffusionless and diffusional transformation? I don't see why not. In one case the change in crystal structure is achieved by a homogeneous deformation of the parent phase. Brilliant. In the diffusional case the bonds are broken and the atoms reorganized into the product phase by diffusion. And you know what Mike, the diffusional flow would minimize strains. So diffusion is needed for reconstructive transformation even when it occurs in a pure material. Wow, reconstructive diffusion. But I am puzzled. How would I distinguish whether the ferrite grows with or without diffusion in pure iron? That is easy Mike. A diffusionless transformation will lead to a change in shape which is an invariant plane strain with a large shear component. Yes of course. Surface relief. Indeed. Both martensite and ferrite can form in pure iron. Which one forms depends on kinetics. Let's get a cup of coffee. It is nearly 10.30.